guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some more candy trying. Yeah, it's a crazy time in the world right now, but we're going to keep trying candy and hopefully keep you guys entertained. Yep, hope you guys are all safe and well and you're not too bored. Yeah. Oh, I just thought maybe you could watch through our WTF episodes. Yeah. Uh, this literally just popped into my yeah. head because a lot of those things you can play with stuff around the house. Yeah. So definitely go through I our WTF episodes. I thought you just meant people episodes. watch them, but actually you could watch, watch them and play and them at home. And then play, like the yeah. one where we had to find five objects around the house and you have to guess what it is. Yeah. Everyone could have And we that. binge watch Love is Blind. Oh which my god. When word. I first saw it on Netflix, I thought this is not going to be the kind of program I want to watch. No. It was so good and we were absolutely addicted, weren't we? Yeah. When Alex says binge watch it, I think that was the quickest I've ever watched yeah. a series before. Did we do it in like two days or three days? Three maybe? days. Three well, days. what happened was because when this whole self-isolation thing started, there are all these Instagrams saying, you know, now you can learn to knit. Now you can do this. Now you can do that. We didn't do any of that. It made us feel so unmotivated. We sat and we watched seven episodes of Love is Blind in one day. And then, so there's like three or four episodes left. And then we decided to spread those out yeah. across two days. Oh my God, I can't so, believe it. So um, you could binge watch WTF from Bin like yeah. series one to we're now on series five. Yeah. And don't forget, they we're on series five right now and they're on every Sunday. Yeah. So keep an eye out for those and subscribe if you're new here. Yeah. But another thing, I won't keep talking, but another thing we binge watched was Lock and Key and that was insane. So um, watch that as well. You'll enjoy yeah. it. Let us maybe, know some down below yeah. requests. Maybe <laughs> maybe we do a separate um, video on a Tuesday, which is all the shows we've been, <laughs> we've been watched watching. in the last week. It's like book club, but Netflix yeah. club. Anyway. Shall anyway, we crack into actually, this the reason ginormous yeah. box? It's incredible. So we've got a letter here and it says, Hi, Kate and Alex. My name is Jessica and my children are Bailey and Brighton. That's such a good Isn't name. Isn't that such a great name? Sorry, Bailey, your name is amazing. Yeah. But I just mean I've never heard someone be called Brighton before. Yeah, no, and we have Brighton Beach quite near us and I love Especially it. Especially so. spelled like that because that's spelled B-R-Y-T-O-N. Yeah. It's awesome. That's cool. We are from Southern New, New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey. I know we went overboard, yes, but we couldn't help ourselves. A bunch of this stuff is new or limited edition that we have not tried ourselves. There are a lot of things in here that we love as well. We love to watch your videos together. We hope you enjoy the candy and snacks. We know you guys have already tried some of these snacks we sent, but feel free to share with your friends and family. Well wishes from Jessica, Bailey and Brighton. She probably didn't know that Corona was going on when she said no, well she wishes, but we need it. Yeah. And P.S. My sister Grace wrote this because I have terrible handwriting. Yeah. Aww. I don't know what your handwriting's like, but this is lovely handwriting. Brighton drew this for you. Oh, how cute. Oh, how sweet. That's lovely. Thank you so much. And I want to say a big sorry to Jason. I have messaged him on yeah. Instagram. Jason sent us like a newer Easter, Easter for um, some new things that have come out. But sadly, we get them sent to our like management office in London. So I haven't been able to get them. But as soon as I do get them, yeah, we'll, we'll pop them. them in a different video. Okay, should we crack on? Let's jump in. Actually, I'm going to film how epic this box is. Yeah, like... Wowzers. You can really dance. You can really dance. And talking of being able to dance, if you are on TikToks, if you're on TikToks, TikToks that sounded really you old. You sound like you're an yeah. old man. Yeah. If you're on the TikToks, <laughs> if you're on the line and you're on the TikToks, then give us a follow, this with them, because we've been doing some TikToks. Look at these, good things. Good things. Now, I think we've tried some of these, but not this flavour. I'm glad we got the good things, because I don't like the bad things. Spinach and garlic. Interesting. Spinach. Nicky spinach. Should we just try those first and then we'll get on to yeah. the crisps? Nikki Spinach. Also, how funny is this? We have 60% less fat than the leading regular fried potato chip. Now, they're not naming the brand, but do you think Lay's? Probably most of them. Because surely Lay's is like the leading Is one. this a potato chip one? It's not, is so it? So it's really? potato and wheat snack. It's a nice silver. Oh, wow. They're a lot darker than I thought. <laughs> really good flavor. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. I don't think I've ever tried a spinach mm. crisp chip cracker. Or we like crackers, really. Mm. That's why I thought it was weird they're made out of potato, because they're basically mm. crackers, aren't they? Really good, but mm. do you not get a slightly fishy taste? Not fishy, I think that's the spinach. Maybe. They're and really good. It's kind good, of though. like dry herby, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very nice. Mm. Also, who else is getting really dry knuckles from washing their hands so yeah. much? They're really they're like cracking now. 
No hand modelling anytime soon. No, definitely not. Especially as my nails are growing out as well. <laughs> That's the other thing. Really, really first world problem. But by the end of this self-isolation, all of our hair is going to be so long. Yeah. I'm just enjoying all the memes because the internet can get you down talking about yeah. it all, can't it? So I, I actually really like the funny things. Well, that's the thing. Even in really bad times, comedy makes, yeah. you know, we have to laugh about things and kind of lighten your spirits. There's really so helps. many funny ones. Okay, so we have hers again, mm. which we've tried a few flavours before. And these ones are the cracked pepper and sea salt. But these do seem like they're in a slightly different style. We start with a hairs. thicker cut of potato and slowly cook them one batch at a time. And then I'm really excited about these. Well, these smell great. Especially as they say, beer classic. I don't things usually say sea salt and cracked black pepper. Mm. They've switched it. Oh. Wow, I like that a lot. I like that. That's not just salt. That's Great like flavor. a salt and vinegar almost. Mm. Great flavour. I like the sound of a beer beer classic. Mm. These are a 10 out of 10. Mm. Are they just cheese or are they beer? I think they're just cheese. I don't think they taste like beer. But the cheese flavour... they fried in beer? Maybe. Try this, Kate. We've been somewhere in America and it's had this kind of cheese. These are literally some of the best crisps I've ever tried. Wait till you try those. Because Lay's chips are usually really thin, but these are much thicker, much crunchier. Mm. What does this cheese remind you of? Does it remind you of a Pringle? One of the... No, oh, it's like nacho cheese or something. Mm. Hold on. It kind of tastes like a crunchy Cheeto almost. Hmm. Thing, crunchy cheeto. I feel like we've been somewhere, maybe a cinema or something like that, and we've had nachos and it's had like... The pump. That's what this tastes like. These are incredible. Which do you prefer, these or these now? I don't know. I prefer these lays. I really like the black pepper and the sea salt, but... When it says the, the cracked pepper, it usually puts me off a bit because it's mm. quite strong. That's amazing. Mm. Wow. They're insane. These are so good. Yeah. I can't get over that. Mm. For once, I absolutely love those, but for once I'm going for the crap black pepper. Really? But they're both 10 out, both 20 out of 20. 20 out of 10. I'm going for the Lay's kettle cook. Mm. These are so good. These are up there with one of the best. Yeah, literally. They're two of the best mm. crisps ever. So good. Okay, so now we have some cheese it, but these are just the original. I'm not sure if we actually have just had the original. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I feel like we've had the cheddar. And then we have Pirate's Booty and the aged white cheddar popcorn. And I've said this before when we've tried these. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the first time I saw these were in Jamba Juice. I've never seen them before. You not? Because I remember looking at the pirate. Really? I never used to really look at the snacks in Jamba Juice, though. So. Well, Snacks alive, so I always do. <laughs> oh, wow. Hold on. Because in the UK, we never used to really this get... This isn't popcorn. Cheesy popcorn. What is it? This is baked rice and corn Oh, puffs. puffs. Ah, I always thought this was popcorn, because look. Is it just salty? Mmm. Delicious. And the ones we recently had were more like the crackers, do you remember? Mm. They're a bit, um, got an aftertaste. So many of you in the comments love Cheez-Its. I think, I really like this, but I think I prefer like the cheesy ones. Yeah. Rather than just original. Shiver me timbers. But they're really good. Mmm. Mmm, that one was salty. Salty boy. Can you put them on your side? Mm. Oh, and we have got Brooks Chicks. If you haven't watched our previous Easter videos, we'll leave a link for you. So cute. Okay, so recently we talked about Muddy Buddies. Mm -hmm. We have two flavours to try today. Mm. We have the cookies and cream, which, which we have we tried. Have tried. But now we've got Brownie Supreme. And since our last video, um, I had a lot of you messaging. I completely forgot that um, the homemade version are called Puppy Chow. Oh, really? Which is such a cute name. Mm. Um, 
but loads of people make this from home and I reckon it's so it's much better, yeah. nicer, isn't it? Because it'll be fresher, because some of it will still probably mm. be quite sticky. Sticky, sticky, gritty. So let us know which flavour of these Muddy Buddies are your favourite. So good, how are I these? think you're going to like them. They taste like um, Nesquik a bit, mm. like the cereal. Which one do you prefer? Oh, just a bit richer, mm. a bit more chocolatey. What was the flavour we had last time? Peanut butter. Peanut butter, yeah. That was really they were insane. In some ways, I mm. love these, but I was really surprised by those peanut butter ones. Yeah, because you really liked them, didn't mm. you? You just gave it mm. a little something. These are absolutely delicious. Okay, right, shall we crack on with Easter items now? Yeah, let's. Okay, this is so exciting because we have tried quite a few of these now. Yeah. So we have the caramel, the cookies and cream, the white fudge. Um, we all tried these last year along with the lemon pucker. Yeah. Now, in a box to come next week, I believe, we've got a strawberries and cream one. Oh, that's cool. But what I've never seen is this from Russell Stoker. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Surprise inside. So this is a surprise inside bunny. Bunny. Hollow milk chocolate bunny filled with... Marshmallow. I'll leave you for a surprise. Marshmallow. What is it? You'll find out in a minute, won't you? Woohoo! Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh. It literally just fell apart. You can get much in the way of jelly no. beans, do you? I might try jelly beans. Mmm. Nice texture, jelly bean actually. Mm. It's funny because I don't see sweets and chocolate going together. Mm. So it's funny that there's sweets in the middle. But I suppose. That chocolate tastes good. Yeah, it's nice. Have you tried the chocolate? Mm. Yeah. I like that. So we have tried these before. So we, we're going to save these for our friends and family. Yeah. They are uh, our favourites, the caramel. So good. Because it is massive and it's just literally full of stand those up? caramel. Now, what we haven't tried, we've got three M&Ms here with oh, an yeah. Easter theme. So we've got M&M eggs, almond. We've got M&M white chocolate marshmallow. And M&M's dark chocolate. And I just love the fact that, I love that. like ah. they've really changed the packaging, like pastel -y colors, flowers. She's got bunny ears on. M&M's are fun though, like their advertising and that. Oh, it's you know, so when, good. That one where um, the woman's in bed. It's like she's oh, having yeah, an affair, but she's in there with an M&M. Save the dark chocolate for last, because I think yeah. it'll be the strongest. So I believe, are those ones actual like eggs? Yeah, shaped like eggs. Whereas these are just she's like normal M&M's. Oh, these are so nice. We don't get these here. That yellow is so nice. Mm. And it's almond rather than peanut butter. A peanut. Almond's really nice, isn't it? It's cool. Matt can actually have these. Yeah. These colours are These aren't are so nice. shaped like eggs. These are normal M&M &M kind of shape. And we've got like a peach, a white and a blue. Haven't we tried like a milk chocolate marshmallow? Mm. They taste like marshmallow. Mm. It's really weird. I wasn't expecting it. No. Oh. What do you prefer, that or the eggs? The almonds at the moment. I prefer these. Really? Mm. I don't really like almonds, do I? For me, they're just a bit sweet. Oh, these are kind of small. They were. These are like in between mini and in between normal. And these have got purple, pink, green, yellow and blue. Mm. I was actually invited to the M&M world in London. Really? And I was allowed... Why are you saying really? You know. Lucky you. <laughs> and I was allowed to put take a photo and get it printed. Mm -hmm. I felt like Smell Kylie that. Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Kylie Jenny. Could you imagine her name was Jenny? <laughs> Kylie Jenner. Well, you know you thought it was funny that I said the TikToks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's as bad as that. You know that Kylie Jenny girl? <laughs> okay. We've got quite a few Easter things in mm. here. Next up, we've got Sour Punch, mm. which I believe is different to Sour Patch. Sour Punch, I've seen that. Aren't they the ones that have got the ropes? And these are chicks and bunnies. Oh, my word. Then. Considering that's a small bag, you'd think they'd be it's smaller than It's literally a rabbit. And these are lemon, lemon you watermelon. No, you have that. They're massive. Hmm. Much chewier than I expected. Hmm. 
Oh, that makes sense. The American licorice company. I was going to say they taste licorice-y. Mm. I prefer the strawberry one. I mean the watermelon one. Mm. Oh, what's this? This is a Starburst Jelly Beans original. We've had Starburst Jelly Beans, haven't we? Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever had them in egg form. No. And I didn't realise we had them in this box. I'm talking about Stacey Howell again and her lovely family. Stacey was the first one to send us jelly beans, but they're in like bag. Yeah. So obviously come in ones like this. And she said they're actually like, um, only come out like once a year. So she'll stock up on some. Really? Yeah. Because they're so good. I think I prefer these to normal Starbursts. Also, while we're here with this. Yeah. So we have an Easter egg hunt box. And someone had, when we were watching Hayley and Nathan, mm. like our hunts, you always just like put the chocolate out because it's not really hot here. Yeah. Whereas I think a lot of families in America use like these plastic things. And some people put like money in there and like cool. toys and things. Whereas ours is very much more like food focused, yeah. isn't it? Mmm. They're really good. Delicious. Mm. Well, when we were younger, we went on holiday to America around Easter and huh. we were staying in this hotel and for entertainment for the kids, they actually put on an Easter egg hunt, didn't yeah. they? With but this these. hotel was on a beach. So they hid these in the sand with chocolate in them. So you found them and then they were completely melted inside. All melted they? inside. So good job they had these. It still wasn't that much fun oh, to eat so afterwards, good. was it? No. 10 out of 10. So good. I don't recognize the red one in there though. You can Life do the talk and I'm doing the munching. Yeah, usually it's the other way around. Usually I'm doing all the eating. These are so good. These are Lifesavers gummies, bunnies and eggs. We've got watermelon, orange, strawberry, cherry and green apple. Now we have tried Lifesavers, but not the bunnies and eggs. So these should basically be the same, mm -hmm. but just in fun shapes. Oh my God, they're tiny. And I got cherry. And we are much more fans of the gummies rather than the hard candies. Yeah. They're nice. Really nice. What are you giving those? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten mm. as well. Very good. Now, I don't think this is Easter, mm. but I really want to do it because this is kind of like our Easter things. A yoey. A yoey. It's like a little monster. Am I right? Is this just... I feel like this is around all year round. Well, I've never seen one before, but wasn't necessarily looking. But what we used to originally have is... A, like a hollow egg with stuff inside yeah. whereas sadly now we're not allowed to have the stuff inside because it's like a choking hazard yeah. or something oh look oh my god it's actually got something inside now this is confusing because why aren't you allowed a kinder egg then in america i don't know i'm pretty sure it maybe, like a, it's got maybe a it was in. actually just like fake fake news fake news we have kinder egg in unless, the uk and unless we're trump to... has come back in and he's gone no no <laughs> It's got to go back in the egg. <laughs> <laughs> um, so our Kinder Eggs have like a plastic toy inside, a plastic thing. Don't you think that looks suspiciously looks like a minion, like a minion I was if that. I draw an eye on it? And guess what? It is. They obviously have different animals because it says here, what is the rarest yowie? Oh. Rare pink squish. Oh. The pink squish is the rarest yowie. <laughs> I wasn't expecting what? that inside. That's so like realistic. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a pig. It's a boar, is it? Oh yeah, boar. What animal is a yoey? The yoey is usually described as a hairy and ape-like creature standing upright at between 2.1 meters to 3.6 meters. Inside is a yoey shaped chocolate surrounding a recyclable capsule with a collectible toy inside. Our chocolate is 100% natural milk chocolate made with sustainably sourced ingredients. Rainforest Look, is this the white-lipped Oh my Pecari. word. Yeah, I think, hold oh on. my is word. Is this ours? ours? Ours is gold crystal collectible. Really? We've got a gold one? Yeah, a white lip Pecari. gold. What is Yoey Candy? Yoey is a confectionery and publishing brand originated in Australia in 1995 by Cadbury's and Kid Corp. It was one of the top selling chocolates in Australia in the late 90s, 1990s and early 20s, selling over a million units a week. How interesting. Hmm. Quite nice chocolate, actually. Oh, very nice oh, cute. It's such good marketing, though, isn't it? Having a toy inside mm. and, like, having a collectible thing. Because kids are going to be like, can I have another Yoey? Mm. That's actually really good chocolate. Mm. How cute is that? We can join that on our... um mm. <laughs> <laughs> that busy. That's, really, that's such a good idea, isn't it? 10 out of 10 for idea on that. Yeah. 
Very, Very good. good. Okay, shall we? Oh, we do have something else, Beastery. Zipners. Is that Zipners. how you say it? Fine confection since 1922. That's a while. Oh, my word. Okay, so we have got the peanut butter milk chocolate covered eggs. Have we tried Zipners before? I don't it looks remember. familiar. It is amazing, though, how we have technology. Oh. We can just find out. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, not what I was at, expecting all. at all. I thought there was going to be eggs involved. Hmm. hmm. Maybe we haven't tried it. I'll try the other egg. Where's the egg? It's a long egg, isn't it? There's going to be an egg in the middle or something. Oh, God, chocolate keep covered fighting. eggs. No. <laughs> they don't look like eggs, do they? No. Rather long eggs. What's it mean, chocolate covered eggs? And also, it looks like there's meant to be something in the middle. What do you think to that, though? Ugh. I think that's a really nice peanut butter. I love it. It's like a peanut butter cup, but like even better because it's like chunkier. And it's not as drying, don't you think? Yeah. I love that. I just I don't know why Reese's has all the hype. Because I, I think they're good. Yeah, but like there's so many other brands that we've tried since. Also, someone on it's TikTok. It's probably because it's like the main one. Someone on TikTok was asking like, is it Reese's, Reese's, Reese, like? Reese's. Reese's pieces. Okay, that is all our Easter things done. What would you like to go on to next? I think, should we try the peeps? Where my peeps at? They're over there. We've got three oh, delights. Three flavors. Jessica, Bailey and Brighton, you know how to treat us. You've treated us real good. Filled delights, chocolate caramel swell, vanilla. We've never had the vanilla cream, have we? Mm. And the delights, marshmallow, dipped in decadent milk chocolate. This is dipped in decadent cream flavored fudge. Do you want to do filled or filled? Dipped? Yeah, filled. Filled delights. I've never seen filled. Chocolate caramel swell. What's Phil doing in there? I don't know, he should be on TikTok. Ooh. Ooh. Do you want to start with this? Because it's like white fudge. I don't know if this had a slightly uh, slight crack in it. Oh, is it stale? It's really stale. Oh, yeah. Luckily, people eat peeps really stale. That tastes just like something. Please tell me you know what it is. Mm. They say taste really brings back memories. Mm. Like, I have literally bitten into that. And I, I don't know what the memory is yet, but it's like really pulled it out. Mm. We need to get that key from Lock and Key. Yeah, the head key. They are insane. They're so good. Yeah, I can't tell what that think, tastes like. Think, Jane, think. No. I like them stale though, but I prefer that. Yeah. The vanilla. I'm excited for this filled delight. Mm. So not only is it filled though, it's dipped. Yeah, well this is nice soft. Ooh, oh, look at that caramel in the middle. Oh, they should pair up with Russell Stover. Mm. They're not stinging on that caramel, are they? No, that is so good. I've just I found don't think it needs the, the, chocolate best, on the, bottom. the best peeps we've ever had. I think it does. These are the best peeps we've ever had. Not, I absolutely love them, but they're not my favourite. They're 12 out of 10. Now, you might be excited, Al. Why is that? We have a Snickers... Salty and sweet, and That's cool. a Twix triple chocolate. What? These are exciting times. Yeah, I thought you'd be excited. There may be a global pandemic, but I've just found out about a new Snickers. Gosh, Snickers are going all in at the I moment. Know. They've got the peanut butter one, they've got the, the almond, almond butter, the they've maple. got that maple one, they've got the crunchy and crispy one. Which we now have in the UK, the crispy one. Yeah, I've seen which it. Which is funny. It's so rich. this triple chocolate is chocolate cookie bars, chocolate caramel and milk chocolate. And milk chocolate? That's what I was going to say, it reminds me of that. So do you think the caramel is just salted? Maybe. But it's already sweet. Oh mm. yeah. It really tastes the salt in the That is delicious. Caramel. Don't you think there's a lot of caramel on that? Yeah, loads. Also, their, their nougat bit is much lighter than ours, isn't mm. it? It's nice though, isn't it? Oh, it was excellent. You open that. Oh, a four-piece four Twix. Oh my god. I know each one isn't as long as a normal Twix, but still, four pieces. That's four like... to go bar. So we have a bar called Bounty, which is kind of like an Almond Joy. Have you seen? They're now doing like three. Oh. I thought they were trying to cut down on people late, like, not give them more. But it's good if you've got three kids. Mm. Wow, that Snickers mm. is a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Do you prefer it to normal or prefer normal? I prefer it to normal. It just gives it a little extra, doesn't it? I think it? I prefer it to normal. It really does just add. 
it now just makes me feel like they didn't season the original Snickers properly. And so years later, they've gone, actually, we'll add a bit of salt. I was thinking, in some ways, you know, we were saying, oh, what if they salted? Mm. In some ways, they could have just put salted peanuts in. But they I don't think done. they have. I think but it was the caramel. Obviously, a normal Snickers does have salt in, but it's probably that very fine the, salt. Yeah. Whereas what that is that's so nice is almost those big chunks of like salt crystals, isn't it? With the um, yeah, like with the, the caramel, yeah. Right, so what's good. your thoughts on this? I don't think it needs all the chocolate. I think I prefer a normal Twix. Mm, that's got a weird taste. Don't get me wrong, I like... I just realised like I'm it. like the hunchback of Notch Drama. I like that, but I don't think every part of it needs to be chocolatey. Going over to the nutty side. Going to the nutty side. We've got a few nutty things here. Now, we've tried nutter butter before, yeah. but these are fudge covered. We've got skinny dipped almonds, which are dark chocolate raspberry. Oh, look. Introducing the skinny dipped almond, way less sugar, way more delicious. So does this mean they've only just got a thin coat on? Yeah, I guess so. Mm. Oh, these are totally different. You know I how prefer that. Really? You know how you say Reese's pieces, uh, Reese's cups are dry. Dry. This is dry. But if I think back, I remember nutter butter being so dry because it, it's literally got nothing on it. Yeah. But with that chocolate, it's just like I think a wafer outside, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's an upgrade. Let, Let me, me upgrade, upgrade you. Yeah. I'm a dead dead. I wonder if that's a TikTok if we can do it. <laughs> wow. Mm. So they're dusted with like oh the God. raspberry, I think. What? Strong, Strong. flavour. Put your tongue on the outside. Whoa. Read that. That's got a really weird flavour. It's like really cacao, oh, oh. isn't it? Mm, it's like powdery bitter, cacao. Bitter chocolate. And I feel like almost... It's you know coconut. chocolate's bitter when it makes you go... Yeah. This says, once upon a time, a Seattle mum and daughter dreamed healthy snacking could be way more fun. Sure, so li <laughs> <laughs> sure, life's a balance, but a little sweet goes a long way. Like our skinny dipped almonds, which combine whole roasted almonds with a hint of organic maple sugar, a touch of sea salt and a skinny layer of amazing dark chocolate dusted with a sprinkle of raspberry, you know, just for fun. I didn't think it was skinny dipped really, I thought it was quite... Um, thick. Also, I'm about to really? say something that's a bit mean, but I okay. wonder if the daughter does actually dream of having. <laughs> she just wants. She just wants or Reese's but peanut butter wants, cups. So yeah. Mom, okay, mum. Her mum's dreaming <laughs> yeah, that yeah. her daughter wants to do yeah. this with her. <laughs> okay. We also have these, which are by the brand Planters. Planters. These are drizzle roasted cashews with milk chocolate. Now, putting out there, the best nuts I've had are from Planters. Really? And they were the salted caramel ones. Not the way I would have gone about it. Come on, boys. There you go. Oh, wow. They're really big. These, well, cashews are quite big. Mm. Is it salted caramel? Oh. No, I think that's just the roasted mm. flavour. Mm. I don't think they taste a bit salty. Maybe they're just salted. Salty, boys. But it's they haven't put much salt on enough to mm. warrant saying they're salted mm, they're really good well, i think good. planters are really good mm. okay before we get into like the baked goods we've got three more like fruity things now we recently tried this brand black forest mm. but these i think are just the classic gummy bears oh, whereas we, we tried, tried like flavors. um they, they were milky looking they had like I, swirls oh they were those ones and yeah. they're insane they're so good aren't they but my favorite are the albanies they're covered in dark, uh, in chocolate. Oh, no. But they're also mm. my favourite. No, they were snide, sniders, sniders or yeah. something. Okay, I can rank my best gummy bears. Albanese, the sniders covered in chocolate, and these are so good. Have a word. He's really cute. Mm. He's got his arms up. Mmm. I believe I prefer the swirly ones. I prefer the swirly ones. From what I remember, I prefer the swirly ones. Grandma's come over. Grandma's over. Hey, you left some ham and M's in there. Ah! Put them first. What flavour are these? Oh Jalapeno. my word, Mexican jalapeno peanut. Ooh, are these going to be hot? Have they still got the nut in? Yeah. At least it's not jalapeno inside. Might be. <laughs> it does spicy. have that pepperiness. I wouldn't really say it's spicy as. Christina Marie. Ah, oh, told me she tried. She's got like a pepperiness. 
Mm. It's really nice. It's that spicy. So this is part of a a section of foods we don't really have in the UK. No. Which is individually wrapped, kind of long life cookies. cookies. Do you know who they're by? Frito Lay. That's funny, isn't it? I think there's two in here. Because in the UK we get biscuits in packs, but you wouldn't really get like one big cookie, would you? No. Like, you know, Waitrose do some, but they're not but they're long more, lasting. But they're fresh, aren't they? Yeah. Though? You're still meant to eat them on the day. Yeah. Well, no, I think it lasts a week, but these, I think, last quite a while. Months. So I've got chocolate brownie cookies. I've got chocolate chip. And they're peanut, peanut butter. Peanut butter. So you'll have to let us know because a few people actually commented saying, have you tried grandma's things? And you get two in here. So let us know where this comes in like... Um... Yeah, because who've we got? Little Debbie's do them. Like, do you prefer Little Debbie's or grandma's? Hostess must Hostess, do cookies. Hostess, yeah, I'm sure. Oops, break that. Peanut cookies are never really my favourite. Mm. I just find them a bit dry. That's got a really nice texture. Is it? I think you'll like that. Mm. Almost a bit cakey, isn't it? It almost tastes like, um. oh, do you know what that texture reminds me of? What? Cake pop. Oh, yeah. Because that's like sponge. It's, like it's been mushed with... together. I feel like with this cookie, you can mash it together and use it as blue tack. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks up the walls. And here's... Chop chip cookie. To be fair, these are a little out of date, but like considering it's out of date, this cookie is really nice. Mm. I think well, the I peanut think butter is, is a best. little bit. Um, that peanut butter is my least favourite. Try this. I think this is the best. It all has a little bit of an aftertaste, but do you think that could be because it's like a cooking chocolate in there? Probably Sometimes they're no. cooking. You know the little what they call them? Morsels. Morsels have a bit of a strong mm. flavour. Do you know what? I think the brownie one's my favourite, which is funny because really? I would never really pick a brownie. I prefer the chocolate chip. I don't know why, but this reminded me of who has had a Subway cookie? Aren't they just amazing? So good. They should be as well known for their cookies as they are for their, mm. especially that Smarties one. This week's Dog of the Week award goes to Penny. Yay! On a positive though, just think about how happy all the dogs will be that their owners yeah. are home all the time. Yeah. So that is positive. Hello. Unless you're like that owner in Italy who's walking oh, her dog word. from the balcony with a really long lead. I watched this thing on Facebook and the owner's walk, she's on the first balcony on the apartment block and she's walking her dog on the lead and then when the dog's done his business, yanks it <laughs> up the lead. Oh, hello, Penny. Right, we are almost there. How have we done this much? So, moving on to Little Debbie's. So, ooh, it's kind of like the competition because we've got three from Grandma's, two from Little Debbie's, and two from Moon Pie. So, we have Little Desby Cosmic Brownie. That sounds Little a bit Debbie. like a, um, an Amsterdam special. Oh, yeah. A space brownie. <laughs> and then we've got a zebra cake. Is that what that's a play on, do you reckon? Like a space brownie, a cosmic brownie? Maybe. They're both spacey, aren't they? So I think this is like a vanilla sponge with like a white fudge and like a milk chocolate. Oh, and it's got something in the middle. Now I would say Little Debbie beats in some things like the oatmeal raisin yeah. cookie, but I actually think the center of that is more artificial than the hostess. What, like a Twinkie? Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. I'd be inclined to agree. Mm, dense. Very dense. I prefer that. Mm. It's almost like a date bar. Look at it, the way it's... Mm. I think when it comes to things like this, it's easier to do the chocolate than vanilla. Yeah. Because well, the vanilla must can to... taste a lot more chemically. Because you must to keep these kind of fresh for the amount of times these have a shelf life. You must have to put a lot of preservatives in. Yeah. So they must take a lot of covering over. Yeah. Like to flavour, whereas they have to be so sweet because... It's a very light flavour, yeah. creamy. Whereas with this, it's got a lot of chocolate, so I think it's easier to cover. Yeah. I could be totally wrong. They're not my favourite little Debbie things not I've my tried. Favorite at all, no. Right, and then finally, we have Moon Pie. We have not tried these in so long. We've got banana 
and vanilla. And vanilla. And we, but these aren't just any moon pies. These are giant moon pies. These are double decker. And when we tried these last time, we didn't know that we were meant to put them in the microwave. I feel like we have done one in the microwave since I that first so. time. I think so. We did we put the banana, banana one in. But I think it was like a mini one. And I believe banana is like one of the most popular flavors. Yeah, which is funny because I wouldn't think that. So it says here, five to, t five to 15 seconds. Oh my word, triple decker. Well, it's a double decker, but it's got like three layers. Ah, oh, he's so sweet. Did anyone else just pick their dog up in their bed because they don't want to disrupt them? He looks disrupted to me. Sorry, it's gonna me. be longer than 15 seconds. Quick, get to the microwave, poor Bob. Woohoo, wow, is this? They're looking good. Yeah. They're looking fresh to death. Look at that. Oh, that's come out real nice. So I did it for 35 seconds, because our, our microwave's not very strong, I don't think. Oh no, it is quite weak, isn't it, actually? Especially compared to some American microwaves. They're more like oven-y, don't you think? Ooh. It actually Ooh. smells quite good, doesn't it? Hot mama. So they're like marshmallowy, aren't they? Yeah. Mmm. That's actually really good. <laughs> Damn. What flavor is that? That's vanilla. Don't get me wrong, it's not the best dessert I've ever had. But for something you could pick up at like a service mm. station, shove in the microwave. This one hasn't heated as much, has Ooh, it? Oh, the banana's nice. I don't like it when you, it's like too strong and artificial. Mmm. 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 Mm. That is so good, actually. I think I prefer the banana. Yeah. Mmm. It's almost not banana, it's just more caramelly almost. Mm. That's lovely. You know when you get like, you kind of like melt banana down? It's more like that flavour, isn't it? When you caramelise it mm. in like a pan. I'm so glad we ended on those rather than the Little Debbies. Yeah. Mmm. No wonder everyone won when we first ever tried them, was like, you're meant to put them in the microwave. They're so much better, aren't they? Because they kind of blow up, they puff up, they get nice and warm, liquidy. Anyway, wow. That's so good, isn't it? You said you went overboard, yeah. but that was insane. Absolutely. You effort. sent us far too much. You've been far too generous. Thank you so much. I know it was quite a while ago, but we did send Jessica and her family a box of British goodies. If anyone else would like to try some British treats, we'll leave a link down below. As long as we can, we are going to still be sending out yeah. our boxes as much as possible. But wow, did you enjoy that? It was so good. Loved it. Did you enjoy I love the Easter bits. I love the savouries. I think they're I some of the, the favourite crisps we've had. Really good crisps. Oh, Jessica, Bailey and Brighton, you know Amazing. how to snack. Yeah, really do. <laughs> uh, but we hope you guys are staying safe and well, and we hope you're just enjoying our videos. Yeah. Um, but we'll see you guys soon. Bye. See ya.